Log into your Instagram account, go to create, then select live stream. Give the live stream a name, then copy and paste the stream URL and stream key to OBS Studio and you're ready to go. It is finally possible to use OBS Studio to directly live stream to Instagram completely for free. And in this video, I will show you everything you need to know to get started. Use the link in the video description down below to go to the OBS Studio webpage, then download and install OBS Studio for your platform. If you have never worked with OBS Studio before, this guide should give you a good basis to get started, but afterwards you might want to watch one or two other tutorials on how to use OBS in general. If you first open OBS and you get greeted with this auto configuration wizard, you can ignore this for now. The first step we need to do is to change the aspect ratio of OBS Studio. And to do so, we go to the settings, then we go to video. In video, we change the base canvas to 720 times 1280. This is a resolution of 720p and this is the recommended resolution to live streaming to Instagram according to the FAQs. We then also make sure that our output, the scaled resolution, is the same resolution and we can just click this drop down, select 720 by 128. Instagram is recommending to live stream in 30 frames per second, however 60 is supported and for this video we're going to stream in 60 frames per second. Then next we jump over to the audio tab. In the audio tab we change the sample rate to 44.1 kHz, which is also recommended. Then we go over to the tab output. In the output tab under streaming we go to the video bitrate and this we change to a maximum of 6000. Instagram recommends a video bitrate between 2250 and 6000. This is the upper limit. If your internet connection isn't the strongest, you might want to dial this number down until you get a stable live stream. With all these settings set up, we click apply, then OK. If OBS Studio is asking you for a restart, please press yes and restart OBS. With the technical stuff set, we can now start to build our scene. And as I said, we're doing a very basic configuration here. If you want to get more advanced with animations and overlays, you might want to check out another general OBS Studio tutorial. All right, so let's get over to our sources and we want to add a camera. To do this, we are pressing the plus, then select video capture device. In my case, I am using a special vertical camera from Yololive, which basically has its sensor flipped by 90 degrees, which allows me to get a video stream, which is nine by 16 rather than 16 by nine. More information about that camera is somewhere down in the video description. Let's press OK. And in here we can now under device select the camera. Of course, the camera you want to use for live streaming needs to be connected to your computer using USB or a USB HDMI capture card. With that set, we can now click OK and we see our first problem. Even though it's a vertical camera, the image is currently in the wrong orientation. To fix this, we do a simple right click on the source, then go to transform. First, say fit to screen. And second, we say right click, transform, and then rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. And then we can do yet another right click, go to transform, say center vertically, then do it again, transform, say center horizontally, then scale the entire thing up and our image is ready to go in OBS Studio. Right now, we only have an image, but no audio. And since we most likely want to have audio or music or anything else, we go again to the sources, click the plus sign, and then in my case, we want to add a microphone. So we go to audio input capture, press the plus sign, click OK, and then select our microphone. In my case, this is the mic in, which is an Legato Wave XLR. We press OK and we get an indication that this microphone is currently being picked up by OBS Studio. With OBS prepared to go live, we can now jump over to Instagram in our web browser. And on the left hand side, we click on create, then live video. In here, we give our live stream a title, then click on next. And in this view, Instagram is providing us with all the information we need to make OBS directly talk to Instagram servers. And here it is important to notice that you should never ever share your stream key. Whoever has your stream key out there can live stream to your Instagram page 
And trust me, you don't want anyone out there to stream to your Instagram page. So keep this secret and do not share. Okay, so let's get back to the Instagram page. And first up, we go to the stream URL. We click on to copy, go back to OBS Studio. We click on to settings. In the settings, we go to stream and under service, we go to custom. And now we paste our copied URL into the server field. Then we go back to Instagram, do the same for the stream key, paste the stream key into the stream key field, then press apply and OK. And with that, we are now ready to start live streaming to Instagram. The only thing we need to do is to hit the start streaming button. And if we go back to Instagram, we see that Instagram is receiving our stream. And to start streaming on Instagram, we simply hit the go live button on this page. And with that, we're now live, have a preview of our live stream, see all the live comments to which we can respond. And in the event log tab at the bottom, we also get an overview of our stream metrics. And once we are done with the live stream, we simply hit the end live video at the very right top. Once the live stream has ended, we get the option to download the video or discard the video. And if you don't find the download button here, you will find it in your Instagram archive in the same way you would download an Instagram story. Once you have ended the Instagram live stream, make sure to also stop streaming on OBS Studio. And with that, you're all set and ready to go for your first live stream using OBS Studio directly to Instagram. If you would like to see more content just like this one, consider subscribing. I am Greeny, this is Greenbox. I hope this quick tip helped you. And why not check out one of those quick tips here on the screen, which are related to OBS Studio. I'm Greeny, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.